Hello, everybody. We are live uh, with the Sand and Sea Captain's Tournament Scouting Grounds Day 3. Uh, we have a couple of exciting, well, three exciting matches tonight for you. Um, we've got um, a couple of new faces tonight. We've got Artemis Siri and... Um, Oh, it's just Artemis for now. We've got some more, more new faces coming in later. But Artemis Siri, his story is awesome. Um, he is the uh, captain of one of the teams that were in the Invitational. Uh, no flame, just fire. Uh, he was a little too high elo in order to, partic to participate in the um, in the Invitational. Uh, but now that we're in the captain's draft, there is a cap of plat four, so Artemis is eligible. So we are going to finally see him. Um, guy's a fantastic jungler. Uh, I've had the privilege of playing against him and with him. Um, both times he smacked me pretty hard. So I'm uh, really excited to see what he does um, in the game. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we've got for bands. And just to announce the teams real quick. Uh, on blue side, we've got Pinto, top lane, Artemis in the jungle, Talia in mid. Ham, hey, Lazy, and Anna Gamer Girl, the duo lane bot. Team 2, red side, has got ARS Toxic in the top lane. In the jungle, it's just trolling. Force holding down the mid lane as usual. Kishmak is at ADC, and Basher is going to be holding down support. And we'll be getting into picks and bans shortly. Links are out, and teams are in their respective channels. So we will see what comes up. Um... Ooh, also, Drewbert, if you're around, you're more than welcome to join join me on stream. I'm solo casting for now, um, but yeah. But you just got home from work, so not going to rush, not going to rush. Let's see. So it shouldn't be too long. I'm going to check the lobby real quick. Okay, need a little bit of a delay, so it'll just be a few moments. Oh, nice, nice. Get enjoyed by Drupert will be an awesome, awesome, awesome time. Um, yeah, so I think initially to start off, the bans are probably going to see. Um, Talia always has the obligatory Ari band against her. Um, they're probably, actually, they're probably taking a look at Artemis. Um, just that they got to scout him out because he is the highest ranked player in the game. So uh, you're going to want to do a little bit of research on him. Artemis typically plays um, engaged junglers. Uh, his Hecarim is really, really good. And also he plays a pretty decent Volibear too. I want to say that he, and he has experimented a little bit with uh, Jarvan. Uh, I don't think Jarvan's been really meta in the jungle for a really long time. So um, he might be a little rusty if he does decide to field Jarvan. But I definitely foresee them banning out his Hecarim. His Hecarim's really, really scary. Um, and I'd expect Red Side to ban Ham hey, Lazy's Ezreal also, because um, that Ezreal is just really, really annoying. Um, they might want to ban Anna's. Either they're gonna. I think Red Side should ban. Throw two bans at Artemis, or just ban his Hecarim, get Ham hey, Lazy off of Ezreal, and then Talia's uh, Ari. Um, they could also offer a gentleman's agreement. Uh, no ban on Talia's Ari and no ban on Forces Yasuo. That matchup is a lot of fun, but that's not going to happen. Blue side is going to immediately ban Forces Yasuo, and red side responds banning Talia's Ari. So, blood for blood here. Uh, no, no friendly agreements. No handshaking on these bans. Another ban of Force. It's going to take out his Pantheon, and Ham hey, Lazy is not going to get to play Ezreal this game. Don't think he'll get to play Ezreal unless something really crazy in the draft happens. Uh, his Ezreal's way too frustrating and annoying to play against. And uh, blue side's third ban. I think they, they're debating banning Singed, because Toxic plays a really nasty Singed. Or are they going to get rid of Yone? Interesting. Okay, so all three bands started at force. That's gonna leave Toxic's. Um, that's gonna have a couple of key picks up. So Basher's Thresh is available. Uh, Toxic Singed is available, and Trolls. Um, 
Charles Viego and his Nocturne are both available too. Those are two really strong champs on force. He's got like at least a 65% win rate on both of those. So um, we'll see. We'll see. Final ban is Morgana. Anna plays a really mean Morg. Um, Home Morgana is... God, I feel like everybody in this tournament plays Morg. Pyro, Anna. I'm sure I've seen Basher play him, play her. But we'll see what the uh, first pick is for blue side. Now they might, uh, they might go Senna. Oh, Caitlyn. Okay, Caitlyn for Ham Lazy. Safe pick. Um, and we'll see. I think I'm predicting a Senna pick from Anna, but we'll see what shakes out. I don't think they're going to pick support too early. So Ars Toxic grabs his Singed. That is his favorite champ to play by far. His most effective champ that we've seen him in the tournament. So I'm, oh, they're going to get Thresh for Basher. Okay. So lock that in early. And that's a good choice because uh, Morgana's banned, so you want to get like the best hook champ. And they're going to grab, yeah, they're going to grab Singed. So two key comfort picks for red side to open up the draft. And let's see what blue side goes for. I think they get jungle here. Um, and they could probably pick support, I'd say. That way they're not giving up too many counter picks. So there's Jarvan. His win rate shot up quite a bit with the buffs that came out with just the patch that released today. So we're going to see if Jarvan is a real powerhouse here. He's going to get piloted by the uh, highest ELA player in the game. So um, I got, I got uh, high hopes for that. And Set gets picked up. Pretty sure that's a pick for Pinto. Uh, I don't think Anna plays Set, although she probably thinks he's a Thirst Trap. Don't think he's her style, though. We'll see. And moving over to red side. This will be their last band before a uh, second rotation of bands. So they might get some for force. Yeah, OK. Echo. So they grab Echo for force. That's smart, because they probably would get a uh, force is probably going to get pinched with two more bands from the blue team. So they get that mid lane and keep force from getting targeted by five bands total. And red has an option to ban support uh, or the mid laner, Talia. So they're going to ban Talia's uh, Diana. Totally makes sense. I think that's a good, that's a good, uh, that's a good ban. Her, her uh, Diana's been pretty, pretty explosive. And you add that on top of like a Jarvan and a set. That's just real scary dive from that whole squad, so I like the ban. All right, they're gonna get rid of Jin, Kishmak, his uh, Jin, one of his better champs. So they're just gonna take that comfort pick away from him. And red side, they could throw another ban at Talia if they want, they do, they get rid of Talia's LeBlanc. So they're forcing down Talia, maybe to something like Orianna, um, or Lux maybe, we'll see. Orianna still would be devastating with the uh the set and the jarvan initiation so um while they have gotten rid of her assassins um talia had a phenomenal game on oriana when she was uh, paired up with the uh, king kublai in the top lane on his renekton he would go in and then just the shockwave and following aoe damage is just a nightmare so um and troll loses his viego he's uh not gonna be able to play that guy unfortunately and let's see okay oh nice nice so they grab the senna take that away from anna gamer girl that's a good pick it's a good denial pick um yeah i didn't know kishmak played senna but she's uh she's gonna be pretty good with the, with basher's thrash basher will take care of you no matter who you're playing no matter what adc you are he'll he'll, uh, he'll make sure your lane is straight so talia's gonna grab the oriana Makes sense. They've got a sick ass wombo combo with the Oriana. Um, she could ball either Set or Jarvan and just have an explosive AoE burst of damage. Um, but they are going to have to. Hmm. Yes, they have to go top here. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, sorry. Support. So Anna, she doesn't have Morgana, and Sen has been taken away from her. So I'm not sure what she picks after this. 
Nami. Nice, nice. So blue side's got a really balanced comp. Um, looks like an Artemis designed comp, really. <laughs> Fantastic team fighting, great engage, pretty good range, and uh, disengage too for anything coming in. Akshan! Ooh, there's the spice. Um, where the hell's Akshan? Top? No, 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 he's not top. Jungle's accounted for. Oh, maybe that's a. Oh, that could be an Echo Jungle from Troll. I hope that's an Echo Jungle from Troll. Because Akshan Jungle sounds really weird. Not gonna lie. Um, interesting. Very strange, very strange. Okay, so. Yeah, we're going to get into the lobby and find out where these picks are going. Um, yeah. So it's going to be Pinto on set against uh, Toxic. Yeah. <laughs> Talia <laughs> lists out the incredulous Akshan! <laughs> exclamation mark. Like, was that on purpose? Nobody said it wasn't on purpose, so I guess we're rolling with Akshan here. Um, so Force popping out the uh, ranged mid marksman uh probably one of the last champions i would expect somebody like force to play um but Akshan is a ton of fun and i think most of the force champions pool is all champions that are pretty fun to play so we will see um yeah i'm gonna switch over to lobby camera quick and then we'll kind of get a sense of where these guys are going So, taking their time, picking a little bit, and it could be them going over some strategies that they're going to deal with, because I think, so the top lane matchup, set into Singed, um, I think that's going to favor Singed. Um, Toxic ran circles around, I think he ran circles in the last Singed he played against, or the last uh, set he played against. Um, you know, Set's got move speed, but he doesn't have any, like, real instant hard engage to stop Singed. Nor does he have, like, any slowing abilities. So, um, we might see another episode of Toxic running around, proxying, just really annoying the hell out of the blue team, and being a general pest the entire time, creating pressure. And, um, yeah, and his teammates will know how to play with that pressure, so <clears throat> we'll see. Um, Artemis is no slouch, though. Uh, he will be quick to respond to any sort of shenanigans, jungle invades and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Artemis is a stellar player at macro. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how much Toxic can get away with. I think we'll find out pretty early on if, uh, this is going to be a game where Toxic can just run the entire map, and or if, uh, Artemis is going to cut that short from happening. Um, and Jarvan being one of the few guys that can actually stop Singed with the, uh, Cataclysm. Usually you can't, like, slow him down, but if you lock him in terrain, that's a pretty good start. Um, obviously, that'll burn a flash form, so I think Toxic is going to probably take flash here. Um, maybe flash and ghost? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, mid lane. It's going to be interesting. I have not seen Sh Akshan succeed in the mid in any of my games so far. Um, I've played with him in ADC with Pew Pew, my, my duo buddy. Um, and Akshan is a really powerful champion with, uh, basically if you play him, you're basically playing him like a AD caster. He's got a lot of burst damage, but they're very much based on his abilities. So you've got to hit your abilities. You've got to get the shots in, um, and you've got to choose your target correctly. Akshan's not a frontline, uh, front to back ADC in the traditional sense, like a typical auto attacker. So yeah, he's almost kind of like a burst mage, but then he's got like the grapple hook mobility, and then also a little bit of stealth, and then he reses people, so... Guy's just a smorgasbord of all sorts of fun stuff, so... Yeah, we'll see. Um, so we've got a... Okay, and then we've got... So I'm not sure how the lane matchup goes between Orianna and Akshan. Um, 
Akshan's range is really, really short. He's got one of the shortest ranges of any AD carry. So he's not going to have a poke advantage against Orianna. Plus, Orianna, as long as Talia keeps up her auto attack, she's going to keep that Orianna auto attack damage passive rolling, where her auto attacks do hit pretty hard. And so, you know, I'm not. Akshan should theoretically win trades against Orianna if it's just straight up auto attacks, because he's got the double tap, but um, he may be taking some residual damage uh, from Orianna's poke once Talia gets her mana item. So. Um, that lane could go either way, I think, but I'd, I'd kind of give the edge to Orianna, just looking at it. Um, yeah, that boomerang's tight. He does, yeah, Akshan does get a lot of range off his boomerang. Thank you, Maladorn. Um, yeah, if you, with Akshan, chain that boomerang through the entire minion line, the extended range of the boomerang will outrange anything Orianna's got, so, um, Akshan does have that. He's got, like, a tool for everything. He's got a little bit of escapes. He's got some pursuit stuff. Uh, yeah, just the guy's got... He's basically Indiana Jones. That's, and he looks about as fun to play as Indiana Jones too. Young Indiana Jones. Um, yeah, bot lane is going to be pretty interesting. Um, Senna does not win the poke lane against Caitlyn, and also they've got, and Hamleys has got Nami backing him up, so Anna be able to keep the heals rolling even if Caitlyn does take some poke damage. But Caitlyn can opt in to all the poke that she wants with the heals behind her. Um, Basher is very, very threatening with hooks though. I think he is, um, he's hooked everybody in this tournament consistently. Like, he's landing, like, he's getting two or three kills in the first ten minutes in most of his matchups. Nami, she, well, <laughs> well, she's got great poke, she's got good sustain, um, she's got the CC. Uh, the advantage is kind of thresh for the first couple levels, especially before six. Like, if Nami doesn't have her tidal wave, all she's got is the bubble, really. Um, so it's going to be on Anna Gamer Girl and him lazy to poke down Basher and hopefully keep his health low enough to where he's not going to be able to engage. Um, that's not going to stop Basher. He's still going to engage, but maybe, you know, him lazy and Anna Gamer Girl will be able to trade it back a one for one. Um, so we'll see. Sen is not really a burst damage champion, so there might be a little bit of a mismatch with her and Thresh. Um... Because Senna really wants to do like really short trades every couple of seconds. She wants protection to get her her passive stacks. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hey there. Sorry to uh, leave you on your own. Well, howdy, Drew. We're welcome. How are you? Howdy. I'm fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. I am glad you're here, sir. Uh, you're doing just fine on your own, but uh, happy to <laughs> happy to help. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, let's see. So you, you and Talia are on separate floors. Is that how you guys are able to play? Yeah, she's, uh, she's on the upstairs. We have multi-levels. So I'm, I'm actually, I always tell people I'm in the kitchen because my, my desk <laughs> is next to the kitchen. Nice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> makes it, makes it easy for snacks. That's, yeah. It's really quite ideal. That's nice. That's nice. If you can't bring the snacks to you, you could bring yourself to the snacks. So exactly. That's what I figured. Yeah. <laughs> so, awesome. so I got to ask you though, uh, because I'm, I'm thinking of breaking it out myself if I get in some of these games. Uh, Sona. Sona rework. Dude, I know, right? I'm very excited about Sona. Um, I, I haven't played Sona in probably over a year, but I, I'm thinking I might uh, I might uh, bust out the pick tonight. I think that'd be sweet. I, I think, yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty strong. Um, Sona was already in a good place before. Um, she just wasn't played very often, so. But do you think, though, that Seraphine... I don't know. Can you go to Sona after playing Seraphine so much? That, I don't know. I, I That's what I'm worried about. It, it would feel weird, I, I, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, Malice says uh, he'll be very interested if you do bust out the Sona this, uh, this time I, around. I, I, I think I might try just to, just to see. And, and probably the same reason why Artemis is trying um, Jarvan, because I'm, I'm super interested to see that as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's Artemis a lot of... Go ahead. Oh, Artemis is really high on uh, on Jarvan earlier in the chat, yeah. so um, yeah. And he's a serious player. He doesn't pick troll stuff. So if he's picking Jarvan, like Jarvan must be legit. Um, yeah, I uh, for sure. Yeah, he, he definitely wouldn't just pick it to uh for the memes. So no, uh, he's got too much time to make up for. He's been like yeah. on the sidelines of the tournament for months, and I know he's like ready to put on a show. So oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I was looking at the team comps. Which uh, which one do you think has the edge here between the two teams? Um, 
I give the nod to, I don't know. I, I think the easier team to execute is probably uh, the team with Artemis and mm-hmm. Talia on it. Um, I mean, honestly, like the, like you've got Set and Jarvan who want to go in and they're both really good uh, targets for the ball. So they, they've got a really good ball delivery system. So I feel like that's, that's a pretty easy to execute like a little combo. And then all Anna and lazy have to do are kind of throw their spells from the back. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be pretty easy to execute. Um, I got to say, I'm interested to see this auction. Uh me too. <laughs> I did not. I had no idea first played Akshan. Um, that threw me for a loop. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and then there's always. I mean, there's always the possibility that Toxic could. I, I feel like with Singe, like he, he like Singe can just kind of take over the game and just make it like not like a normal game of League of Legends. So you mm-hmm. know, it, that's always a possibility. So yeah. Interesting. It will, it will. Yeah, I think yeah, you're I think you're right. I think like that is Red Side's uh win condition is keep Toxic from allowing Blue Side to uh to group up. Oh Basher's going all in on Artemis, lands the hook, follows it through, but the Nami Bubble's gonna stop that invade. Artemis is just gonna walk on out casual. He ain't scared of nothing. Like that aggression now. Um Yeah. What's your uh, what's your timestamp right now? Just like so single. Oh, I'm at uh, 51, 52. Okay. Same. Okay, we're good. Nice, nice. Let's see. Artemis doing the expert jungle move of dropping his ward, coming back, getting a sweeper. All the junglers take note. Um. I embarrassed how long it took me to realize that 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 was a thing to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to have somebody repeat repeatedly tell me that over and over again. <laughs> I used to be like, why are they backing? I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah, like, yeah. They place, they place the ward. Yep. <laughs> um, and that's super good for Jarvan, too, to get early, because he, he's one of the few junglers that can legit level 2 gank um, yeah. without losing too much tempo, so... We'll yeah, see. that's what that's what I remember from back when Jarvan was a more popular pick was the you take red and one other bot you like take red maybe one other bot side camp but you like do that early level two gank and mm-hmm. although I don't know about doing that into a thresh lane um oh no okay he's not gonna do it. okay he's not gonna opt into the thresh yep. lane okay yeah good call there and it lands a bubble into Kishmak nice nice shot um but yeah I definitely I, uh... oh god do you feel weird about uh, Senna and Thresh being in the same lane? I know, from, like a like a lore perspective. But yeah, about it. it's super weird. It's really awkward. Um, I feel like they would have some specialized lines. Like, why am I playing with this guy? Whoa, way too far up. Ham Lazy gets hooked by Basher. Gonna have to flash out, but Ham Lazy does get a Dark Harvest proc in response. Uh, I'm not sure if Basher's got biscuits. Which he might need against all this poke, but we'll see. Yeah, what did he run? Let's see, he's running aftershock. I don't know what he's run secondary. I guess we'll find out soon enough if he has biscuits. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Actually, yeah, I didn't consider the heals though. He might not need the biscuits because the center heals, but True. we'll see. Every good support player has told me that biscuits are a waste. I still buy biscuits. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I, that's that's kind of like I'm in the same boat because biscuits are like your get out of jail free for doing stupid stuff, mm-hmm. like taking bad trades. So the, yeah, so the advice is always like, well, just don't take bad trades. But <laughs> but like, <laughs> is it a bad trade if you still win health from the biscuits? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you got the biscuits. Exactly. Yeah. So and I'd rather have them than not have them. Ooh, um, skulk. It looks oh. like maybe some uh, yeah. skulk grabbing. You're right. Ooh, Smite goes over to Artemis, and he's going to win this fight, but Toxic is in the way, and Force is here for the collapse. Artemis can jump out anytime he wants to. Oh, wow, and doesn't he? Opsin flashes, knocks Troll up, just kills him straight across. Now we've got a 3v2. Sick play from Artemis. Huge, good decision there. Toxic flips him over. He's got the poison. Artemis is going to walk away, though. They're going to let Toxic run, and gutsy, I, gutsy play from Artemis there. I, I can say, just like, watching that kind of play out as it did uh, and having played a couple games with like the artemis crew before mm-hmm. uh I, i'm pretty sure it, it looked like super risky but i've got to tell you he was probably like calling that play on comms the whole time uh so one thing like it's hard for us to tell but i like that was probably very calculated and 
I, I'm sure he knew he had the backup there. So you yeah, can see. Yeah, 100%. there's like decisive. There's decisive plays where everyone follows up. They can be. They can definitely catch you off guard. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Like we're watching it from like outside perspective, not even like in the game, and uh, completely caught us off guard there. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, really good call from Artemis. Um, and this is one of the things that <clears throat> we were kind of uh, worried about in the Invitational was uh, Artemis kind of directing traffic, directing the games, and just kind of taking it over. So, um, yeah, we'll see how much influence he ends up having, though, because um, he is against two pretty decent soul laners, um, and Basher is a fantastic support, so. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Respect to Basher for having uh, picks in almost every role where you're like, you consider banning them. I know, that's, right? That's impressive. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Um, nobody else in this tournament could really say that. Like, um... No, not not really. I feel like, like you know, if I'm playing support, there's a, like, people may ban my, ban my Seraphine, but then I, I, like, fill in any other lane, and it's yeah. like, no, like, you pretty much just let him take whatever he wants, and, yep. and I feel like that's not the case with Bash. Like, he's he's got a pretty decent pick in almost every lane, except yes. top. He, he'd probably tell you, except top. Yeah, yeah. Top is the Achilles for a lot of players, uh, myself included. And you too, I think, right? Uh, Yeah, yeah, I yeah. put myself firmly in that category. Yep. <laughs> no shame, no shame. Top is a freaking tough-ass lane. Uh, so it looks like Artemis is going to make a move over to Force. He's got the knockup. Talia baited a lot of auto yeah, a lot of abilities from Force. He's gonna try to get the grapple out. He's not gonna be able to. Artemis is just sitting on his knockup. There's no way Force is gonna get out yeah. of that. So really good patience from uh, Artemis just to get that get that gank for free, basically. Yeah, I also I haven't seen uh I might have missed it, but Toxic hasn't tried to do any uh uh, what I would just call nonsense this game, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. proxy or you know he hasn't tried to break uh, League of Legends yet. So yeah, yeah, that is interesting. Um, yeah, I think the the lost fight at the um, at the scuttle may have uh, jilted him a little bit, um, but I think once he feels like he's got the pressure to do it, he might, he's probably going to start. We'll we'll see. Um, yeah, the pressure Artemis put put on mid is uh. Probably discouraging, but but we'll see. I, I hope he I hope he does get into some shenanigans. I feel like you have to as singed. Yeah. Is, yeah, you don't want to lean it out. Territory. Yeah. For sure. So blue side is up three kills to nothing, and Artemis did secure the first dragon uh, at s under seven minutes. So Trolling's trying to scout out for a scuttle. He doesn't uh, have any fire uh... though. Yeah, he's just gonna get okay. bullied out. Force gets called over the Artemis is here too. Oh, Amos the fight in top lane. Don't think it's gonna fights go. everywhere. Yeah, I know. Oh, looks like a suplex from Pinto. He ignites Toxic. Toxic pops Ghost. Ooh, pops don't the chase ulti. A singe. Yep. Oh my God. There's so much minion damage. So much poison. Toxic ah, flips no. it back in. Oh my God. Nicely done by Toxic. And I think that might be the start of Toxic starting to run circles around people. Yeah, it'll definitely get him going for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Gold's actually with that kill. Honestly, it's about a one k difference right now between the teams. Even. Oh, you know, nice. Uh, nice. Trying to see where that gold difference is. Uh, uh looks like a uh, farm. Top oh, yeah. lane farm. Yeah, yeah. toxic's up by a thousand. Yeah. Farm and the kill. Yeah. Artemis waiting in the wings in mid again. He shows up. It's not six yet. Force is going to swing on out and uh, just casually walk away, come back to his lane. He does have a ward up, but he's going to sit tight and not push it too far. Yeah. Uh, Akshan, you know, he is new, so I don't have a great read on him, but that, that E ability, that I assume it's his E, that, that rope ability, it yeah. seems like it would be great for uh, escapes. Yeah, it's huge. Um, it, it it is interruptible, um, so he's got to be really cautious about when he uses it, because um, Jarvan yeah. could knock him right out of it. Um, well, once especially once Jarvan six, I feel like that'll, that'll yeah. be like a game changer. Yeah. Oh, looks like uh, Artemis grabs the uh, Rift Herald. Toxic gets caught in the Cataclysm though. 
Toxic flips him out. Ooh, He's trying to stack up some poison. Trolling's here. Gets the stun onto Pinto. Pinto's flashes away. Artemis is baiting his time, waiting for his cooldowns to come back. Gets a knockup on the Toxic. Oh, Artemis has taken poison damage, though. Flashes forward. Does not get the kill on the Toxic. Uh, Toxic packing a Warden's Mail, so he's got a lot of armor right now, and a uh, cloth armor. Um, so Toxic just going straight, been doing the smart thing, going straight for the armor, itemizing directly against Pinto as well as Artemis, so... Um, yeah. Super that was, uh, it was good, it was, you, you called it out, it was good patience from all Artemis not to, like, to kind of bait and wait for those cooldowns. Mm -hmm. Um, looked like Force had Tally oh! shoved in, so... Woo! Oh, the, oh, my. oh, it's the Bubble Trap Classic from Anna Gamer Girl and Ham Lazy. And Ham Lazy's gonna get the kill uh, under the turret, man. Oh, but we got a 2v1 was... in the top lane, though. Pinto's gonna suplex, pops the Haymaker to get a shield, flashes away. Ars Toxic is probably just gonna flip him over and throw him in the poison. Trolling's gonna get a little bit of damage in. Trolling will collect that kill. Pinto. That was clean. That was mm -hmm. clean. Yeah, very wow. clean. Yeah, Anna Gamer Girl and Ham Lazy coming out with the bot lane dominance. Did not expect that there. Um, maybe it might They're... be the lore conflict kinda, between uh... Sen and Thresh. Yeah. Know. <laughs> I mean, the gold the gold lead's holding at a thousand, but look, they're up almost. Uh, they're up three kills and what is that? Almost thirty farm in yeah. the bot lane, and, and they're they're basically building that advantage basically by themselves right now, which is. Oh, they are, yeah. It's, it's like it's it's pretty big like to do that without a bunch of jungle attention so mm -hmm. Oop, trolling's gonna catch talia in a face check the stun's not gonna land though she's got the shield on uh she's gonna get her ball gonna maybe get the movement speed she can shockwave him though he does have ultimate so she's gonna wait that out troll ult second talia pops barrier oh. artemis is here he's doesn't have cataclysm yet he's just three seconds off from it he's waiting for his ultimate to come back up talia needs cooldowns too force like cooks in, kills Talia. Artemis Ugh. is stuck, going back into his tower. But Hamleys is here to answer. Artemis executes Troll wow. with the Cataclysm. Hamleys is going to lay down damage, but Ars Toxic TP's in. Goes for Hamleys. He flips him into the poison. Hamleys is trying to get out. Gets exhausted. Flashes under turret. Toxic doesn't care. He's going to follow him in. Gets knocked up in the turret range. Gets popped, and the uh, Artemis gets the kill on the Toxic. Frenetic fight in the mid lane. Oh, and Pinto's just got the casual uh, tower take in top lane with the Rift Herald. Big to get some gold back in Pinto's pocket up there. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of solo XP, solo gold. Man. Yeah. That was a, that was a crazy fight in the mid lane. That was, um, yeah. I thought it was going one I, way, ended up another. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought when the Singe DP'd in, that was, that was going to kind of seal the deal, but... Mm -hmm, me uh, too. Blue fought it out well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, Ham Lazy takes Kishmak in the 1v1. And... They're on opposite sides. They were yeah, on yeah. Side I was like, how did that How did that position end up happening? <laughs> <laughs> my, my brain stopped working for a minute. That's oh, Anna lands a beautiful bubble into a tidal wave. <laughs> what? Basher lands a crazy hook into Ham Lazy. Wow. Locks him up. Troll gets the kill. Anna Gamer Girl's trying missed. to get away. Basher's so low. Anna flashes, gets the auto attack. Supportal oh. combat is in the house, but she's going to pay for it with her life. Trolling gets the kill, and uh, Talia is stuck in the river with the Zanyas. Artemis is trying to come to her help. Force is hanging out. He's got the hookshot if he wants. Misses the boomerang. Gets the knockup from Artemis. Artemis wow. just cleans that up. But Troll's trying to get a kill on Natalia. The Q snapback is not in time. Ooh. Troll ulti is trying to get some health back to fight this Artemis. It's a 2v1 essentially. Talia comes in. She shields Artemis. Artemis dashes. Knocks that oh. Troll. Troll's going to keep pursuing though. They're both so low. Talia's going to have another shield up shortly. Troll's going to keep pursuing. Artemis gets the kill. Auto attack straight up. Man. Oh my god, Pinto's here, Kishmak is wow. gonna run away. This just doesn't stop. Uh, Talia did a really nice job using the the bush and being able to like jump in and out of vision there to kind of keep herself safe. Yeah. Uh, Cause I do I do think the ball and the shield she was able to, to put on Artemis really helped. Yeah, I think that saved that him. Fight. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, he would have been dead in the water if she didn't come and help, so. Really so good the, play. Uh, Talia's showing that she plays assassins as well as uh, supporty team fighting cast. I don't know what the hell Orion is. Is it control mage? Yeah, she's yeah, control, control mage. mage. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you you can go support if on her, but I mean you build full damage on Oriana and uh, those those shockwaves hurt. Yeah, yeah, they do, they do. Yeah, and she's got great AP ratios on her shield, so no, yeah, no harm in just AP works, just straight AP. Yeah. You're mid lane, you're yep. the carry, but also with shield, so. I've been uh, I've been trying to get her to pick up a spicy pick for this uh, tournament, but I won't. I, you know I can't reveal. <laughs> on the I am real curious. I've tried to talk her to a couple of different champs, but 
Oh, Force is going to hook shot in. Drop some damage on Natalia. She's just going to walk away, though. T cost her half her health. This guy, this guy does. I, I also forgot he can stealth. So he's basically Twitch, but also Sivir. But, <laughs> but also, like, a little bit of Lucian, too, with, like, the double yeah. tap and uh, the, yeah, the yeah. calling style ulti. Um, yep. And also kind of Soraka because he reses his team, I guess. Yep. I don't yep. know. Yeah. Hello. Dude's got uh, everything. Yeah, he's one of the few champs that um, uh, are... Well, he's not going to be available to play in the pros uh, in Worlds. Which yeah. means that he is going to be out of pro for, like, so many months. I think the longest out of any any new champ. Um, yeah, because typically they don't have that much of a lead time. But, yeah, so Auction, super weird champ. I don't know how they're going to balance him. Um, crazy fun to play. Don't think it matters if he's balanced or not, because everybody likes playing him, so... Oh, boot buff. Yep. <laughs> the... Yeah, I'll be... So, I'm just kind of looking at the itemization. Uh, early Serpent's Fang rush from mm. uh, Hey, I'm Lazy. Yeah. Which, I guess is to deal with... I mean, I guess the Senna shield... Shadow put shields. Thresh Lantern has a shield, so. Yeah, uh, looks like he might have a little scrap around the Rift Herald. Trolling steps in. Uh, Ars Toxic is going to chase in, get the flip on Artemis and the suplex. Artemis is well bugging out, though. Ham Lazy does kill Kishmak on the back end of that play. Artemis gets a shield from Talia and some speed to get away. Pinto's going to have to flash out. Trolling is continuing to pursue, but they're way deep. They're four men deep in here. Troll gets killed by, uh, <laughs> by Troll. Oh, no, no. Trolling got the kill. Oh, my God. Talia lands a shockwave, though. Finishes off Troll. Uh, she is low on cooldowns though. Without oh, Basher lands a hook on an Anna Gamer he goes girl, in. goes over the wall. He has to flash out. He doesn't want to get locked up. Oh, but there might be a flip on Natalia. No, she gets away with the uh, Ori speed. They're gonna turn it on to Toxic real fast. He's gonna have to back out. And uh, all the while, solo pushing in the bot lane. Oh my God, Caitlin. you're right. Yeah, damn. That, hey, uh, 123 that... farm. Yeah, that doesn't honestly. That that's kind of concerning for Red there, because uh, that fight went pretty back and forth, pretty even, and mm -hmm. Blue didn't have Lazy there. So uh, mm -hmm. um, I've got to imagine if Lazy was there the whole time in the back line, uh, just pumping out damage, it it would have been a pretty clean uh, team fight win for Blue. Oh yeah, absolutely. I agree. Um, yeah, and to also yeah go back to the Caitlyn build too. Uh, that's the new build from Korea, is Caitlyn Lethality with, um, mm. Dark Harvest. Um, okay. She does an obscene amount of damage in lane. Um, and if she keeps getting gold, Troll goes in for the steal. Uh, does he get it? No, he did not get it. Yeah, Troll didn't get steal. Um, yeah, she's crazy oppressive in lane, and, yeah, if she gets the lead in lane, which is pretty easy with her, the Lethality Dark Harvest stuff, um, she can lead into a pretty punishing, uh, mid-game. Um, so she just cuts through squishies. Eventually, she gets to the point where she's just two shotting him. Um, yeah. At, wow. Yeah, with her auto attacks, it's uh, pretty scary. Um, but there's there's risk to it though. Um, you do need a lead, and you do need those dark harvest stacks. But Caitlyn's great at that because uh, she gets a lot of unanswered damage in lane. So. Oh, don't I know? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the hook lands on a ham. Lazy though. And a gamer girl is going to try to land a bubble, but the fight is on. Oh, Talia Shockwave annihilates people. Artemis is so deep, doesn't get out in time. Turret shot finishes him off. It's a 3v3. Ars Toxic is too low to pursue. Hamley's is going to land some damage on their way out. And uh, kind of a wash, just a straight up uh, two for one there. Set is still full health and looking on the side there. We'll mm -hmm. see. Yeah, he could start something. Nah, he won't. Oh. He'll just back. Yeah. Yeah, they got a big wave push on top that the red side will have to answer. So, that turret's going to take damage. Oh, Hamlace is really far up, though. It's going to get rooted by the Senna. Ars Toxic is going to be an easy flip into the sticky and into the poison. Hamlace goes down, scouting a little too far up without a support. They, uh, they might be able to break the dragon stacking here with that kind of pick on Lazy. Yeah, that would be huge. Um, if they can keep their health up... Uh, Talia does not have Aftershock either, or Shockwave, and Artemis doesn't have Cataclysm. So yeah, they're down to the key tools ultimates. Are down. Yeah. yeah. Even Anna's uh, Tidal Wave is down, oh, that's so they, right, might yeah. just have to, they may just have to give this. Does Artemis go for a steal? I don't think Although he does. Although interesting, I don't know. Uh, oh, they're going for it! 
They all jump over. <laughs> Artemis steals the dragon, but Ars Toxic is right in the middle of the back lane, though. This is a crazy fight because they don't have their ADC on the blue side. Toxic is running them through all sorts of poison. Pinto suplexes them, drops the Haymaker, gets the double Ooh. kill. Pinto is getting his revenge. They, uh, so that was the combo I was talking about earlier. They actually waited just long enough for uh, Talia's uh, Shockwave to come back up mm. and then put it on top of Artemis and they just delivered the ball right into uh, really all of all of red sides. So. Yeah. Yeah, that that's was a... a that's a nasty combo. You, you can't really do anything about a Jarvan leaping on top of you and then the Shockwave right right behind him. Yeah, yeah, even if you've got tenacity, like it's a Jarvan knockup into a yeah, Shockwave knockup too. So yeah, you're you're locked up for a good while and then You've got Pintos, uh, Suplex, yeah. Trolling's trying real hard to get the ham lazy. Basher lands a hook onto Nami. No follow-up there. They do have the numbers, but not the position, so... Just gonna let that one go. It's still, uh, I mean, the goal, it's starting to balloon a bit. It's 4k lead for blue, it looks like, right now. Mm -hmm. um, Lazy's got tons of farm. Definitely the farm leader right now. Like yeah. 150. Yeah, it's huge. That's right where they want to be. Um, yeah, if they keep playing it right, they should be able to coast into a pretty easy mid game, um, which they're already kind of set up for. So uh, if somehow Toxic can start get uh, getting his proxy going, they might be able to split that team up because I really think that yeah, like that's that's really their only way out. Um, they're not going to win any team fights moving forward, so they've definitely got to play the map to. Uh, stretch out the blue team as much as they can. Which Toxic is doing is getting three people away. And yep. there's only two in the mid lane. Ooh. Talia and Pinto be might careful. be caught. Troll's going to chase Pinto. Not an ideal target. Talia's just going to back up because she still has her uh, outer uh, mid turret. Artemis returns. All, so. all ultimates are up on uh, blue side yeah. this time. So they have all the tools they need to... If they see a fight they want to take, they, they have all the tools to kind of start it. Absolutely. Oh, Kishmak's kind of far? Okay. Trolling's looking for a flank. Uh, Artemis is going to just jump on him. Lantern's going to save Trolling, though. Keeps him from uh, getting caught out completely. Artemis over the wall. Threatens the uh, Cataclysm on the Kishmak. Doesn't go. I think he was baiting for a flash there. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, no, he needs to be careful. Oh, yep, Ham Lazy is caught. Uh, Ars Toxic is just going to run away. Going to get knocked up by Artemis, though. Toxic's tanky. He's going to walk away. Oh, yeah, he's got a Frozen Heart and a uh, the Rift Maker. Yeah, he's uh, he's going to be tough to bring down, though. Yeah. Yeah, that, that Omni Vamp, the extra armor. Good itemization from Toxic. Troll goes over the wall. Has to pop his ulti defensively. Kishmak's got a flash backwards. Toxic is right in the middle of four blue team members. Gets Cataclysm and exploded by Artemis. The rest of the four red team are going to try to get away. Uh, this Thresh Cage from Basher just stops the pursuit from the blue team. Yeah, actually, I'm just looking as they... It looks like they're probably moving... Yeah, to get vision control of the river. Uh, Singe will be really tough to bring down. I was just taking a look at item again. Uh, Talia... Is kind of it's interesting her build if you look at it she doesn't have a mythic online yet she's got oh. Zanya's she rushes Zanya's mm -hmm. uh, for some survivability and she just got uh, Saris Embrace um, so I mean two two really good solid legendary items but no mythic so yeah that's interesting definitely a bit of it's a bit of a like you said more of a supportive take on Oriana which which is definitely working right now yeah um, absolutely. But, not the same level of AP damage, so it you know you can kind of stack armor if you're singed or mm -hmm. yeah, like singed can stack armor at this point and be pretty secure that it's gonna be tough to burn them down. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah, um, yeah, and usually the two guys that are gonna try to stop him from splitting are gonna be Artemis and Pinto, so both AD yeah. champs. Um, so yeah, good good points there um and looks like we've got dragon in about 15 seconds this is going to be a sole point for blue they've got a stack of uh caitlin traps blocking off one side and they're just going to bottleneck the other side 
Basher lands a hook. Not going to follow that one, though, because that's way deep into territory, enemy territory. Toxic's got Ghost. He pops Ghost. He does get locked by a bubble, though, but he's right in the back line, drifting through all of the blue team members. Gets Suplex out of the Cataclysm, and he gets caught by the trap as he's trying to get out. Troll does flash in the back line, though. He gets a kill on the Anna Gamer Gold. Nami's down. Basher hooks in, gets to the backside, but there's just so much damage. Hamley has been able to pop off that entire fight untouched. Got the shields, got the protection, and Basher is going to try to make his way away from Artemis. Not going to happen, though. Uh, he's going to spend a flash, gets the flay, and uh, it'll be Mr. Artie collecting his kill eventually. <laughs> yeah, Basher does a great job wasting <laughs> Artemis' time way longer just for a support kill. Uh, I think it's I think it's uh, pretty telling there that Talia didn't have to pop the shockwave. Oh my God, she still got shockwave. Yeah, she held shockwave that whole time. Jeez. Uh, so that that was a tool they didn't need to use to take Soul there, and so it's it's still up. Yeah, I want to check the damage charts for Jarv in this game because that that's got to be where the damage is coming from. If Talia has like the supportive build, um, mm -hmm. she's not popping shockwave. Like people are getting blown up, and I'm pretty sure it's probably the Artemis, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think I think she she's building smart. Like she's doing what she needs to do. She's facilitating uh, Jarvan to really get in and, and kind of mix it up there. So it's it's a solid plan. It, it's working well. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, oh, and it shows by her being one in uh, one in fourteen. <laughs> she's not only getting killed once. Uh, the pursuit is on. Kishmak is tr they're trying to get Gamer Gamer Girl. And Gamer Girl does get rooted. She drops her tidal wave and her bubble, but there's just four members. It's way too much to CC. Nami cannot get out of anything like that. Shockwave onto Kishmak. Talia's sending a message, <laughs> letting him know this is her lane. Get Sweet. the hell out. <laughs> Fear the ball. So the kill uh, onto Anna Gamer Girl does give uh, Red Team the five man power play against Blue's four people. Oh, nice hook on a Ham Lazy from Basher. There's a follow up stun, and Ham Lazy is just deleted. Five men on the pursuit, flips Talia into the poison. She's trying to get out, she pops Zanya. she's got no barrier, it's already down. She makes it out! Oh no, with Akshan with the ultimate. Pinto does suplex right in the middle of all four members. Red is hungry for revenge, they want kills here. Force is laying down the damage, Pinto's not gonna make it out. Artemis is out of mana. Ars Toxic might pursue this. Nope, they're just gonna get the turret, get the gold, and leave. So, evening things up from the red side, hopefully. Oh, did they That's get the turret? Fight. Yeah, yeah. Toxic has got less than 50 health. So does... How much does this turret have? The turret's got <laughs> seven one. hit points. Gonna, oh my god. I'm gonna go ahead and say one. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Oh my god. That's, uh... Yeah, the turret's got the one lone hit point. Artemis and Anna are trying to hold this wave as long as they can. Just just a couple minion shots is going to drop the turret. Uh, Ars Toxic from around the bend. Lands a sticky onto Artemis. And mid T1 finally goes down on blue side. Honestly, it, uh, it was pretty big that Talia delayed dying so long. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, I, I think the delay in trying to kill her uh, and the fact that Artemis was still alive after all of that, uh, it, it really prevented a, a Baron take from Red. Um, oh, yeah. Which, that that could have been if they had taken that fight and immediately been able to take Baron, that, that could have been their way back into this. That would have been a big swing. Yeah, 100%. Because they are behind like 6,000 gold. Like, that Baron gold yeah. would have been huge. And just any time they can buy right now to try to get Kishmak some stacks. Um, that's really what they need. Yeah. Kishmak's at, he's at 69 souls right now, or absolution stacks. Um, not exactly where he wants to be, so yeah, he will become a late game powerhouse. Um, you just need, they just need to buy him some more time. But that may not be what they have though, because there's going to be an Elder in two and a half minutes. Yeah, Elder will be, when, when you're kind of, I mean, when you're in this spot as red, Mm-hmm. You've got the Thresh, you oh. got the Senna. I think you look for picks. Yeah, yeah. If Basher can land another hook like he did last yeah. fight, um, yeah, because the last fight, the the Thresh hook into the Echo Stun just deleted Ham Lazy before he had a chance to even yeah. use a Summoner spell. Yeah, so I think you look for picks, uh, and then if you can get a pick or two, you use it to take Elder or Baron. Mm -hmm. And then if you're blue, though, I mean, you just force the Baron, and you say, 
We're, we're stronger, you're gonna have to come to us, or we take this objective and you kind of just force them to fight. Next. Yeah, for sure. So, it looks like Red's not gonna opt into that fight. Smart move, they do just get some uh, lane pressure on the mid turret. And it's, they back uh, away. It's such a hard team. I mean, we saw it in that dragon fight earlier. Mm -hmm. like, Caitlyn can set up all those traps. Yeah. Uh, and you're you're like you're avoiding Caitlyn traps, Nami bubbles. Uh, <laughs> there'll they'll probably be a giant tidal wave coming your. Yeah. You get through all of that. Well, Jarvan's probably still gonna jump on you with the shock wave. So it, it's like it's really hard to kind of check into that team if they're on a, an objective. Yeah, it I, really is. Um... I do. Do not envy the task. Mm -mm. And I think this is one of those. Uh, this is a great, uh, a great example of um, Artemis's debut. Is that not only does he have like crazy good macro skills, like good uh, jungle instincts, uh, he is a mastermind in the pick and ban phase. Um, and you look on, uh, you know, you look at red side. That's a typical like in-house scrim team that we would have typically here. And you look at blue side, and like that is a organized competitive draft that he ran um yeah all of the i mean it'd be interesting to hear what the comms were in the draft but yeah mm -hmm. like they all they all synergize really well together. yeah yeah they um, do they do and they do have expertise oh my god ham lazy just pops Ooh. troll oh forces no. the, uh, the zanyas <laughs> uh yeah that one auto attack like chunks troll for almost half his health um ham lazy is terrifying on that Caitlyn. Here um, comes Elder. Yep. Elder's in 10 seconds, and it's basically do or die for the red team. They're not going to be able to get an easy pick like they got last time during the uh, mid lane scramble. They're going to set up the traps oh. again, just like before. Z <laughs> yeah. Talia could take a fifth of your health with one uh, ball command. Pretty scary Pinto, stuff. Pinto's not here though. He's split pushing. Oh, he's going too. top. Yeah, they have the five v four though. A stun lands on a ham. Lazy though, he gets caught. He's gonna get rooted though. That is so huge. Trolling does have to pop his ultimate defensively though. Ars Toxic is caught in the cataclysm and has got a flash backwards. Basher is deep in the back line trying to get some CC. He dies before he can land a hook though. Lazy's doing so much oh damage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they could not get the kill on Lazy. That's what they had to do. Kishmak is bailing out with force. Ham Lazy is in pursuit. Oh, Kishmak's got the bar burst damage though with force. Damn! The oh, he oh my God! There's the res. They're back alive though. Akshan res got Basher and Toxic back up. They can stop this uh, push from Pinto on the inhib. But is honestly, that that kill on Lazy probably stalled this game out because yeah. he used uh, two people to stop Pinto's push. Yeah, that kept Red Side alive. Oh my God, man. Pinto's Haymaker misses, Basher lands a beautiful hook. Pinto's gonna have to flash before Basher can flame backwards, and that is all she wrote from Pinto's push. You you know what else is super interesting? I, and again, this is one of those ones where I'd love to be on in the comms. They didn't take Elder. Yeah, yeah, they didn't. Now, I, uh, yeah. if, if I'm trying to like analyze that, i probably say it's because Blue wants to set up that exact same scenario again and mm -hmm. say, You've, you've got to check into us yet again and yeah. have another team fight. So Troll Pops Echo Ultimate. He's on Pursuit. Uh, they got to be really careful, though. Talia's here. She's got... Oh, Shockwave does go down, and there's so much AoE damage. Basher lands a hook on the Artemis. Here does not lazy. help, though. Oh, my gosh. Lazy's here. Uh, once Lazy gets her, it's going to be really scary. Looks like Red's going to bug out, and it should be an easy take for Elder at this point. So really, really good pressure from Blue Team to just force them to be engaged on on their terms and now now more members of blue are up they're all up so they all get elder buff uh they for so I, I wonder if that was calculated like hey let's not take elder here and force them to come check again and yeah then we'll make sure we we like not only win the fight this time but we'll make sure we all have elder absolutely yeah and um yeah i'm, I'm sure they're checking their ultimates too talia had her shockwave up yeah um yeah, they're ready so I'm to not roll. gonna lie. If 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 I'm that if I'm jungling in this game, I'm, and we win that first fight like that, I'm I'm taking Elder probably. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> I'm frantic. I'm freak. Oh my yeah. god, the Ooh. Elder buff just wreaking havoc on the troll. I don't even know what hit troll, but uh, man, just even the small <laughs> people are dying before like ultimates even land. The Elder buff is just so powerful. They're so far ahead with this lead. 
Nice hook from Basher, anticipating when Hamlazy's immunity is going to go down. Oh, but doesn't matter though. Swallowed up by four members of the blue side. Elder that buff. Elder, that Elder Drake execute animation is so cool. It really is. Yeah, yeah. It uh kind of takes this thing out. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Not by a lot, but uh, it's way cooler when you're on the giving end of that thing. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Well, welcome to the tournament, Artemis. Uh, really good game. Blue side just all around fought really well, top to bottom. Fantastic performance. Yeah, no, that was a, that was a fun one to get us kicked off. I'd, I'd say uh, Jarvin's probably in a pretty good spot. Yep. Uh, that's my assessment. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> Let's Thank see. You. Thank you for the buffs, Riot. Yeah, really. Let's take a look at those damage charts here.